Hey there, you're watching the Jessa channel on YouTube. I'm Jessa, and today I am here with more Dragon Age Origins. Well, we were successful in fighting back the hordes of undead attacking the Red Cliff Village. Unfortunately, not everyone survived. Let's head back into the story. Love that music. We have a bunch of level level ups here. Oh, Gorham. Hey, Gorham. I forgot to do Gorham. Uh, Gorham, what do you need? He's got gaining a bonus, a frighten. Um, looking to see what of these, what this requires. This is dexterity. 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 So it looks like that's what he needs to be working on. So we will raise his dexterity. He's a powerful dog. Actually, his strength one dexterity. And then we'll just, yeah. Um, He's doing fine on his health, so I'm not going to worry about his constitution. He doesn't go down too much. Unless he goes running through a pit of fire, then he does. <laughs> that kind of sucks. Uh... Speaking of which, that reminds me, I need to change his tactics. Okay, so, um, do I want to be working on this? Um, I think I'll work on these. These are passive, so I don't have to worry about adding them to tactics. And then I'm going to quickly go over here to ex see, accessories other, and use his dog whistle which is how you take him out of that slot and make him be a companion again. So he disappears like that, but that's all right. He's still here. There he is. <laughs> Blood and damnation. That's terrible language for a sister. And the doggy's ready to go, and now I can put him into tactics. Gorham. Excellent. Have you been using your Mabari Crunch? You haven't. You haven't needed to. Cool. Um, but I want to change his behavior to default so that he doesn't run into area of attack things. I learned that the hard way. Uh, at the castle of Redcliffe, uh, at the village of Redcliffe, there's a huge fire and my characters kept running through the fire and I realized it was because I had that set. So. Dog whistle again. And then take him out of the party. It's okay, little baby. Oh, indeed. You're, you're okay. And then hopefully, come back, come back to us, little guy. Do I have to use that again? Because he's not in the party. So I have to take him out of the party and then use the dog whistle. I'll get it. Here, boy. Yay! There he is. You're my little man. <laughs> that sounded so wrong. Oh my god. Um, I'm just curious the to see. Upon us. The dead rise and foul magic spreads across the land. Oh, you again? Really? Repent your sins before death. Beg for the Maker's divine forgiveness. Hmm. Another ranter, just like in Lothering. Well, I believe you may want to practice what you've preached. Have you repented your sins? I have. I have repented. Oh, Maker! Forgive me my sins! Forgive my fellow brothers and sisters! Look upon us with kindness as we are swallowed by the darkness! He looks way too happy about a guy who's about to be swallowed by the darkness. Um... I have a feeling also that this is the same voice actor that did the yelling guy in Lothering. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's what that's what he was hired to do. He was hired to yell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> They're like, hey, Frank, could you come in here today? And could you just like yell a little bit? I'll be right there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> hey, it's a paycheck. Uh, perhaps, perhaps you need to spread the word further. 
Like perhaps outside the village? You're right. The soldiers need to hear this. The ones fighting against the king. They must beg for forgiveness. They must repent. I will go and tell them. I will tell them salvation is possible. <laughs> Sucker. <laughs> So we haven't saved his daughter, but I'm just wondering if he has anything new to say. Is he in here? Is he still drunk? Probably. Good to see you in one piece. Do you have news of Elena yet? Uh, no, I have not yet. Well, I'll give it some time. Now's the best time to go into the castle, though, and see for yourself. Remember, a promise is a promise. I will do as you have asked. Let's talk business, though. Right. I haven't got much, obviously, but I'll do whatever I can for you. See, I'm still hoping to get this. Yeah, I was. There's a sword I saw in here, and I'm. That's why I keep going back in here. Is hoping, hoping amongst hope. And also, I re realized after I uh, finished doing the last episode, I realized that I didn't put any traps down. I totally forgot about. Them during the battle. <laughs> so, I guess we have traps for some other time and place and event, of which I have a feeling there will be many. All right, we are heading up to the windmill now. Actually, I wanna see before we do. If people are having a big party in the tavern. Let's get started. Many people were lost for this victory. I hope the village will make it through all this. Greetings, milady. Oh, he's just a gossip. <laughs> I admit, for a while, I didn't think either of us would survive. It's good to see you did. It's good to see you too. I am glad that you are well. Thank you so much for the supplies that you gave us before the battle. Anything I can get you? Uh, do you have anything else to supply us with? Fair enough. Let me see what Lloyd stored in the back. You can help yourself. Greed goeth before a fall, but we cleared him out already, so... <laughs> She's like, we ain't got anything else. Beat it. <laughs> Alright, just checking. <laughs> a girl can dream. Maybe a, a wagon came in with goods <laughs> in the morning. As soon as they heard all the undead were dead again. <laughs> okay. Heading up to the uh, windmill. Oh, hello. Word went out to retrieve the Isle's men even more quickly. This battle is but one victory. The battle with the Darkspawn yet remains. Many good folk died here, but now is the time for rebuilding. With luck, we may yet restore Redcliffe to its former glory. I trust you won't abandon us anytime soon. The people will look to your leadership in the coming days. Oh, and there is an Andraste's Grace over here that I just noticed. And let's see what Sir Perth has to say. Ah, uh, it is sad to think of how much death there has been here. But we have saved the village beyond all expectations. You have done well, my friend. I will remain here to guard the village and receive any fellow knights as they continue to return. At least until the castle is retaken. Thank you for all your help, Sir Perth. Let's talk to... Oh, wait oh, a minute. How quiet the castle looks from here. You would think there was nobody inside at all. But I shouldn't delay things further. I had a plan. To enter the castle after the village was secure. There is a secret passage here, in the mill, accessible only to my family. A secret passage? <laughs> well, if the secret passage has always been here, why did you not enter the castle through it in the first place? I had no idea what lurked in the castle, and I couldn't abandon the people of the village. What if... Maker's breath. Tigan, thank the Maker you yet live. Isolde, 
You're alive. How did you... What has happened? I do not have much time to explain. I slipped away from the castle as soon as I saw the battle was over, and I must return quickly. And I... need you to return with me, Tigan. Alone. This woman, um, from the little bit I've seen in Let's Plays, she is very, very annoying. Uh... Let's see, what would Ilya say? Hmm. I am here to accompany Ban Tegan at his request. We could go now to the castle. What? Uh, who is this woman, Tegan? You remember me, Lady Isolde, don't you? Alistair. Of all the... Why are you here? They are Grey Wardens, Isolde. I owe them my life. Burden me, I... I would exchange pleasantries, but... Considering the circumstances... Please, Lady Isolde, we had no idea anyone was even alive within the castle. We must have some answers. I know you need more of an explanation, but I... I, I don't know what is safe to tell. Tigan, there is a terrible evil within the castle. The dead waken and, and hunt the living. The mage responsible was caught, but still it continues. And I think Connor is going mad. We have survived, but he won't flee the castle. He has seen so much death. You must help him, Tigan. You are his uncle. You could reason with him. I do not know what else to do. Mm. Ilyas would not take well to this woman sort of talking down to her. You know, as far as Ilyas is concerned, she is a noble too and on the same level as this woman and would not appreciate this at all. So, she would just try and take over. Then we must decide quickly what to do. The king is dead, and we need my brother now more than ever. I will return to the castle with you, Isolde. Oh, thank the Maker. Bless you, Tegan. Bless you. Tegan, if you go on by yourself, facing whatever dangers you might find there, it... You will get yourself killed. You need us at your back. I cannot let Isolde return alone. Perhaps I can help Connor or Eamon. Perhaps this is really a trap, but this is my family. I must try. I have no illusions of dealing with this evil alone. You, on the other hand, have proven quite formidable. Isolde, can you excuse us for a moment? We must confer in private before I return to the castle with you. Please do not take too long. I will be by the bridge. Here's what I propose. I go in with Isolde and you enter the castle using the secret passage. My signet ring unlocks the door. Perhaps I will distract whatever evil is inside and increase your chances of getting in unnoticed. What do you say? I say that this is an excellent plan, and frankly the way I would prefer it. I can find you once we are, in once we are inside. Then it's for the best. I would prefer to go inside with you, but I have no choice in the matter. Sir Perth and his men can watch for danger at the castle entrance. If you can open the gates from within, they can move in and help you. I don't think there's anyone else who can help you. If you choose not to go, then it's up to me to do what I can. Here is my signet ring. It will open the lock on the door in the mill. Whatever you do, Eamon is the priority here. If you have to, just get him out of there. Isolde, me, and anyone else, we are expendable. Mm. A lot of choices here. Um, <sighs> right, Eamon is our first priority. I am in agreement with you, Ban Tegan. We must end this evil, no matter what. Greater evils have been loosed on the world, but I will not argue with you. So we are just going to send him with that woman? It seems so dangerous. 
One fool plan on top of another. But I can delay you. <laughs> Allow me to bid you farewell. And good luck. Let me guess. Stin disapproves. <laughs> Signet ring added. What's it look like? It's probably just a ring. No, this should be under plot items. Signet ring. Heavy gold ring. Mm, okay. But I also saw... Yes, that's what I was wondering. There's somebody here, and I'm wondering who you are. Move along, friend. Huh. <laughs> I don't know who you are, and I do not appreciate your tone, but very well. Thank you. Who is that person? Knight Commander Harith. Who is that? All right, well, let's infiltrate the castle. I don't know who that is. If you know, please let me know in the comments. All right. And uh, I happen to know that this is over here because I think we saw it before. All right, secret passage. I love a secret passage. Filled with beasties and dark spawn and blobbity blobs, and it's going to be great. Good times, good times. Um, anything to loot in here? How inconsiderate. On it. Oh, wanted... actually, talk on it. I'm gonna save the game first. Really want to save right here because I have a feeling. There we go. Yep, that's what I thought. Okay, what do we have here? Oh, a whole mess of trouble. That's what we have. A mess of trouble. Why? Yep, that's a glyph of pearls. pearls I, I I can't even say it anymore. Glyph of repulsion. Excellent. And now everybody's all frozen, and we can go in and beat the crap out of them. As you do. Oh, enraged corpse. I love it. Totally enraged, upset, and pissed off. Uh, I'm gonna cast number. Eight and try my new. Well, actually, you know what? I shouldn't do that yet. I take that back. On it. I'm gonna deal with this one while they're dealing with that one. Enrage corpse. Miss, 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 and then let's do a turn. Awesome. I love that spell. Now you die. I can't see very well. There we go. Yay. Awesome. Hello? Who's there? Is there anyone alive out there? Wait, you don't look like the Arlesser's guards. Are you from outside the castle? Hmm. Are you... you're wearing the robes of a mage. Could you perhaps be the mage that Lady Isolde mentioned? You've spoken to her? Then you know what I did. Actually, I do not. But I will soon find out. I see. Then perhaps some explanation is in order. My name is Jowan. I'm a mage Lady Isolde hired to tutor her son, Connor. Until they, uh threw me into the dungeon here. Lady Isolde mentioned that the mage was... No, actually. Ah, Lady Isolde mentioned that a mage had been caught. So you are the one who has unleashed all these dead? Undead? This is your doing? No, I... I poisoned Al Eamon, but that's all I did. I... I know it looks suspicious, but I'm not responsible for the creatures and the killings in the castle. I was already imprisoned when all that began. At first, Lady Isolde came here with her men, demanding that I reverse what I'd done. I thought she meant my poisoning of the Arl. That's the first I heard about the walking corpses. She thought I'd summoned a demon to torment her family and destroy Redcliffe. She had me tortured. There was nothing I could do or say that would appease her. So. They left me to rot. You 
You are the one behind all Eamon's sickness. You are the one why all of his knights, you are the reason why all of his knights are, are all across the land of Ferelden searching for a cure. It's you. Why? why? Why did you do that? I was instructed to by Terran Loghain. I was told that Arl Eamon was a threat to Ferelden, that if I dealt with him, Loghain would settle matters with the Circle. You see, I'm a Malifica, a blood mage. A blood mage? Well, that isn't good. I dabbled in the Forbidden Arts, and they condemned me to death for it. I thought Loghain was giving me a chance to redeem myself. But he's abandoned me here, hasn't he? Everything's fallen apart, and I'm responsible. I have to make it right somehow. I have to. So Jowen is part of the mage origin story, which we did not do in this Let's Play. We did the uh, dwarf noble origin. But, um, yeah, I found him to be very irritating, which I think is the way he's supposed to be. Sort of whiny, always seeking the easy way out and, and making things even worse and all of that. Um, but I, but I do not understand. Why is Arl Eamon a threat? To Loghain, especially. He only said that Arl Eamon was dangerous to the nation. Why wouldn't I believe Terran Loghain? So, Terran Loghain himself hired you. Not, for ha perhaps an underling or... A lackey of some sort. Yes. When the Templars caught me, they brought me to Denerim to await execution. Eventually, someone came to see me, alone. It was the Terran. I'd seen paintings of him, so I knew. I thought he'd have me executed right there. But he said I could make up for my crime. He said I would be helping the country. <sighs> she probably wouldn't ask number one because she was tutored um, by a mage. Um, who was watched over by the Templars, but, um, you know, she was under special circumstances, tutored by a mage. So, so if you've done so much wrong, why are you suddenly so eager to make things right? I'm not allowed regrets. I've made a stupid mistake at the Circle, and now I've made an even greater one. I'm not a bad person. There's no reason for you to believe me, but I'm not. I have to make up for what I've done. I have to try. Well, I pretty much have to ask this one because it's the only other option left. Connor had started to show signs. Lady Isolde was terrified the circle of Magi would take him away for training. Connor? A mage? I can't believe it. She sought an apostate, a mage outside the circle, to teach her son in secret so he could learn to hide his talent. Her husband had no idea. Ah, uh, to hide one's talent. I, how much magic did you teach Connor? What what exactly can he do? Some, but he's still very young. He can barely cast a minor spell, never mind something more powerful. At least not intentionally. I have thought about it, and it's possible Connor could have inadvertently done something to tear open the veil. With the veil to the Fade torn, spirits and demons could infiltrate the castle. Powerful ones could kill and create those walking corpses. I do not understand. I was trained and tutored. I saw no fear and wasn't raised to have a fear of being a mage. So why would Isolde be frightened of her son becoming a mage? Because he would be taken away forever. A mage cannot inherit a title, even the son of a powerful Arl. She's also a pious woman. Her son having magic was humiliating. Ah, I see. Piety. Well, I know that I would never have been able to gain a title, but just to be a commander was good enough for me. Al Eamon, he had no idea of his son's abilities. Is that the case? No, she was adamant that he never find out. She said that he'd do the right thing, even if it meant losing their son, and that infuriated her. I see. It seems the mother is more to blame than I even thought. I found her a distasteful woman, at best. I never meant for it to end like this. I swear. Let me help you fix this. 
I say kill the mage. He cannot be trusted. He doesn't need to die, surely. He wishes to redeem himself. Doesn't everyone deserve that chance? He's your friend. You know him best. Give me a chance, please. Hmm. I wonder who he was talking to. He said he's your friend. You know him best. That might be because she's a mage and the game thinks she came out of the mage origin. I'm not sure. Um... Well, Sten, of all people, shouldn't be talking about needing redemption. That's what he's doing right now. He's a big fat mouth. <laughs> uh, so clarify with me. How do you expect to make things right? Do you know how to make these demons go away? I, well, I tried to save anyone still up there. There must be something I can do. Hmm. And after that, what happens? Afterwards, I assume I'll be arrested, or executed, or whatever people like me get. I'm tired of running from the circle. I need to account for what I've done. <sighs> hmm. The problem when, when I run into three options, the ne n n none of them. Not neither. None of them are what she would say. So in that case, as usual, I will take an option and modify it a little bit to fit her character. Well, the Kunari behind me can assure you that redemption is available to all. It is commendable what you wish to do. I'm glad you think so. So what now? Hmm. I think she would let him out of his cell because her feeling is might is right. She feels like she's a maid. She can, she doesn't know. She, by the way, she knows nothing about, very little about a blood mage, very little. So um, that would be something that King Enderin would have kept from her or instructed her tutor not to teach her about or let her know even existed. So she doesn't know how bad a blood mage is or what it can do. Um, she still thinks he opened up the fade somehow and she wants him to close it. So she's going to ask him uh, to come out of her cell, believing as well in her pride as per usual, that she could take him if he tried something. And she has backup of, you know, it's five against one. So I am letting you out of your cell. There are five of us, all able warriors. I would not recommend trying anything. You're letting me out? And what then? What then? Of course, you will come with me and fight under my command and straighten the wrongs you have done, especially finding a way to close the Fade. I'm not sure that's a good idea. I'd like to help out, but... I'm not so sure I want to follow you into danger, exactly. Oh, goodness gracious, what a chicken. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm definitely not going to let him free. There's no way that's happening. Um, it's going to be one or four. One or four. Uh, she's not going to leave him in there. She's going to make sure he's dead. Or she's going to make sure he's under her command. That's basically it. So, your choice is that you would rather I kill you. Is that what you are saying? I... No, I don't want to die. I guess you'll do what you have to. And so will I. Wow. Well, he's put her up against the wall. She's going to either have to kill him or not. If she kills him and he's the only one who knows how to get into the Fade, then she's basically doomed them all. She's itching to kill him, though, because he killed a noble, and that's a huge crime where she's concerned. Ugh. Fine. I need your help. 
to close the fade. After that task is taken care of, do not be surprised if you meet the end of my blade. Then I will wait. If you change your mind, I will be here. Wow, he is a big fat chicken. Really annoying. Okay, that gives us a codex update. Apostates. Um, so apostates are and Maleficarum are not the same. Apostate is often a Maleficar. He need not be so. A Maleficar is a mage who employs forbidden knowledge. Blood magic and the summoning of demons, whereas an apostate is merely any mage who does not fall under the auspices of the circle of magi, and therefore the chantry. Interesting. So, over on Reddit, I asked some of the people who've played Dragon Age what they think of this particular idea for a Let's Play, an elf who was adopted and raised by, um, a, you know, a king, um, King Indurand, and whether it was completely a ridiculous idea or um, whether it could work. And I got some strong opinions, as I imagined that I would. Hey! <laughs> Um, Gorham. Hey, dude. <laughs> You're back. Have you found out what's going on yet? Uh, no, but I would like to know why you have used your magic to usurp my dog. <laughs> I see. What now, then? Uh, stay here for now, but return my dog to my side. I'm not going anywhere. Is Gorm back? He's not in there. Gorm the match. Oh, there he is. <laughs> okay, that was really whoa. Hello. Oh, I have the wrong key button pressed. Oopsie. On it. Auto loot money. What are these? It looks like somebody with a bucket on their head. Very interesting. Okay. Sounds it looks just like a this looks like a Whoa! Oh my god, that scared the heck out of me. <laughs> oh Jesus. I think I just oh god. <laughs> my heart is hammering. I didn't expect it to stand up like that. <laughs> okay. <laughs> now that I'm done being scared to death. Uh, let's just <laughs> let's just um uh, let me um switch her weapons oh you don't have a second weapon I thought you did I thought you had a, a staff that I gave you I guess you don't oh man oh well mental note I've got to get you a staff Okay, go over there and beat the crap out of it. Thanks. I appreciate that. Oh, you're a mage, huh? Oh, no, I don't think so. Get back here. Where are you going, brother? Yeah. Bam. Bam. Oh, my gosh, are there more? Oh, okay, all of these woke up. Okay, great. We're in trouble. Come on. Hit it. No mages. Okay, let's go back out here, because they all woke up and we're now in big doo-doo. Right. Um, let's do a Wrath of the Maker. Yay, perfect. I love that one. And then let's do this. That was fun. <laughs> and I say that and that, so that was not really that fun. Like, <laughs> in the, oh my god, that scared the holy heck out of me. <laughs> Okie dokie here. 
Oh, look at the dust mites. They're so pretty. Okay, let's go upstairs and gather your party and venture forth. No. First, I want to... Uh, quick save. Now gather my party and venture forth. <laughs> Peaceful. Calm. Oh my god, the ghouls came in here and stole all the furniture. Hey, let me guess. I bet you there's a pile of mess behind here. Right. Oh, hey, no. There isn't. Who oh, no. knew? Oh, but there's a shambling ghoul or somebody over here. Look at, he's just patrolling. <laughs> he's just taking his time. He's coming this way, too, so let's <laughs> throw a glyph down. Bam! <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Hello, brother. How you doing? Yeah, I don't think so. Uh-oh. Time for a, uh... Wrath of the Maker. Woohoo! 40 experience points. Desperation's an ugly perfume. What's that smell? Oh yeah, it's your incoming death. Um, we're getting kind of beat up here, so maybe I ought to move her. She's backed up in a corner. And we have, um, five different people here. So let's, uh, she already cast a prayer for herself. Okay, so let's get them from the back here. Come on, honey. Don't you cast weakness on my fellow men. So help me goodness. Let's get started. Oh. Exorcism. Awesome. Oh, no, you don't. Awesome. Oh no you don't. And let's get this one. Move, Harry, strike and kill. I love it. I think she says move and carry, strike wish. and kill. I think that's what it says. Okay. Hey, where are you going, Alistair? Hey, dude. 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 Whoa! Stan! Hello. Hello. I think you were doing something rather naughty back there. I'm not sure what was going on. Oh, let's see. Nothing in here, and Alistair and Stan are still trying to loot stuff. Oh, Lord. Really? Really? Oh. Stuff and bother. Come in here, you guys. Oh, hello. This is not good. Hey, Alistair and Sten, could you guys get over here? I'm just wondering, if you don't mind, if you can get your tails over here. Uh, attack and attack. So that was auto loot kind of wigging itself. Wiggy waggling it. <laughs> Wiggy waggling it. Uh, right here. Don't you dare resist that. And if you resist that, so help me goodness, I'll smack you right upside your demon head. There we go. Yes. Let's get started. Why are you moving so slowly? Oh, she was probably under something. What was under? What was she under? Weakness. Oh, weakness. Possible penalty to, penalty to movement speed. Or protection. Uh-oh. Time to get out of the way. Time for some fun. Time to move. Time to move right now. Time to go. Um, actually, you know what? No. I'll cast number eight and Wrath of the Maker you. Oh, they resisted, man. Time to go. She's like, ah, shoot! <laughs> Where is, oh god, am I by myself? Are they still stuck over here? They really are. Oh, wait, no. Are they? No, they really are. I think. Are they attacked? No, they really are stuck. Oh, no wonder I'm screwed. Okay, Sten. I will, um, I think a reset, hopefully, will stop them 
from here. Yes. But in the meantime, I will be moving. Oh no, she killed me! Oh, he killed me! Oh, darn it! Because Stan and Alistair are stuck. Okay. That does it. Good thing I did a quick save. We will load this game and I will... I don't know how to get them unstuck out of that if it ever happens again. <laughs> that sucked. <laughs> okay, where were we? Oh, yes. We opened this door and there was a fellow who was doing his little patrol routine right about here. I can't see him, but he'll come around the corner. Okay. And then we will... He'll be kind enough to head over here and go... Fling! <laughs> and then I will come running in here. And... Okay, now that'll get everybody attacking. And then I'm going to put a glyph down the minute the other ones come out of the room. Here they come. Aw, oh, man. I hate when that happens. I hate that. Let's get started. I did freeze somebody over here, though. That's good. Are you attacking who I want you to attack? That would be great. Thanks. Um, seven. Hey, stay off of her. Three against one is not fair. Especially because she's a tiny little elf. She's got two on one. Boy, she's in trouble here. Uh, let's. No, I don't want to do that. I want to do this. Turn evil. Did they resist? They did. Come on. Come on. Yes. Beautiful. Um, and over here. Shambling corpse. Phew. Um, so, because I'm stubborn and curious, I'm going to save and click auto loot nearby and see if they break again. You know, my guess is that, yeah, Liliana's broken. My guess is that there's something behind this room that she's trying to loot, and we can't unlock it. I think that's probably what it is. So I will load this quick save. Curiosity appeased. Creepy demon music. We will just do it the, the easy way here. Okay, so, wow, this is some wonderful battle. I really like this. And it's time to end this episode, but we will be back. Or I should say I will be back because I'm only one person. <laughs> Last I checked. <laughs> uh, but I will, be right, I will be back with you in the next episode. While we continue on through Redcliffe Castle, fighting all manner of unpleasant unpleasantness and also to find out if Jowan can redeem himself because I mean talk about a chicken I'm too scared to come out with you and fight with fight yeah what a what a weenie what a weenie um <laughs> but I will say his character is hey it's memorable I mean yeah Anyway, if you enjoyed what you saw, please hit the thumbs up button below. And if you loved what you saw, join the party and subscribe. I'll see you back here in Redcliffe Castle in the next episode. But until then, thanks so much for watching. Get every new Jessa Channel video right in your email inbox. Subscribe, then from your YouTube homepage, click Manage Subscriptions, then check Email with new uploads. And thanks for watching.